Hey you guys, thanks for coming back. So um, last time I was talking about downsizing for the bus, which is going awesome. We're doing such a good job. Um, taking a lot of like dump runs and donating and our friends have come and picked stuff up like we talked about. So that's been so good and we're two weeks away now. So it's actually maybe even 13 days until we're on the bus. Oh my gosh, can you even believe it? I know, it's crazy. Um, but anyways, yeah, so today I wanted to talk to you guys about two things. One is more of a disclaimer. Um, Ren's down for a nap right now and she might wake up part way through. So if there's like a little bit of choppiness to this one, that's what's going on. I had to get her fever and all that good stuff. But yeah, so this time I just wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about um, some of the eco-friendly things that we're planning to do while we're on the bus. We've done this stuff in our house as it is, but um, it's definitely even better for a tiny space. But this is things that you guys can definitely do as well to help out our mother earth. Um, but yeah, so these are a few things that I wanted to share with you guys that I think that you guys might find fascinating or might want to do yourselves. Some of these things are going to be super straightforward and I'm sure you've been doing it for a long time like it's nothing new but some of this stuff might be fun and interesting for you if you're into that kind of thing. So um, I'm going to start off with like a pretty basic one that I'm sure you guys all do and that is bringing your own bags when you go grocery shopping or when you go to um, even the mall. I love these ones. I mean, it's super cute. Ren finds them awesome as well. They crinkle and make all kinds of sounds, but they fold up nice and small, small enough for anybody's bag, really. And I just kind of wrap the handle around and it keeps it all tucked together. Um, but yeah, reusable bags, everyone should do it if you're not already. Where have you been and what are you up to with your life? Use your reusable bags, it's not that hard. They're pretty much everywhere is making you pay five cents a bag. Some places ten, or some places make you feel like a villain for asking for a bag. So just bring your own. They're easy, just put it in your bag. I mean, guys, it might be a little bit harder because you don't have a purse to carry around, but keep it in your car and do the world a favor. Um, the next thing is straws, keeping straws, even in your house. Um, this time of year is like slurpy season. I'm pretty sure everyone's on board with that. So I have a few different kinds. What I do is I just fill up my slush cup and then don't take the straw and when I come home then I use one of these bad boys. These guys are great for slushes. They're super wide. I don't know if you can even see that, but yeah, they're a good size. These ones are plastic, but whatever. If you're reusing it, then I think that kind of like flows in with the whole eco-friendly thing. But there's these guys. Um, they come with these little lids. Anything that I'm talking about, I will link in the description box below if you're interested. But yeah, so they come with these little mason jar caps and the straw fits in there perfectly. Then you just use the silver um, screw on that would naturally come with the mason jar. But these are awesome. Like, they're so good for smoothies. I use them all the time when I was in school. And the straws are awesome for slushes, so you can do that. Um, I also have a metal straw. These ones, like, good for you if you can use them, but I find they're so conductive that if I'm drinking something super cold, it can be a little bit um, painful on my teeth. So I'm not super fond of these ones. I thought they looked cool. I kind of got them back in the day when I had my, like, um, Instagram, like, foodie page, but I stopped doing that because many reasons that I'm not going to get into. But yeah, so this metal straw not my favorite but looks cool in a picture and then the bamboo ones are pretty awesome um, they're a little bit weird when you go to clean them that would be kind of only the downside that I would say for these guys but I love using these ones as well they kind of discolor because they're bamboo um, if they sit in liquid for too long so you kind of have to be on top of your drink like they don't get weird or taste weird or anything but yeah those are my faves um, to go cup. So this brand here is Eco Soul Life, and I have some other stuff that I'm gonna show you. I might as well just show you right after. But 
<laughs> this little cup is awesome. So if I don't get to finish my coffee at home, it's surprise, surprise, being a mom, I don't often get to do that before I need to run out to Costco or whatever errands I have for the day. So I can pour the rest of my coffee into this guy. Um, and I don't feel so bad. Or you can take it to Starbucks and get your drink in there. But these are great. Um, also have been really good for a sippy cup for Ren. And I've also um, put whatever the heck I want in there, like a smoothie or whatever. But mostly was great for tea too. But I will say they don't keep your drinks super hot. Like they're not one of those double walled, um, those metal like swell bottle type things. Like it's nothing like that. Uh, but it get, gets your coffee to a drinkable temperature pretty quickly. But yeah, they're good for on the go. And if you're a mom or whatever anyway, you're probably used to drinking like room temperature coffee to begin with. So I'm sure it'll work for you. But yeah, it's super cute. I love the little handle. It doesn't burn your hand. And they are biodegradable after a certain amount of time. So um, that's something I'm into and I think that you guys should be too. So like I said, I'll get into the next thing. So when we were downsizing our stuff, um, I kind of wasn't super into the plates that we had to begin with. Lots of them were chipped from just being careless when putting dishes away or accidents happen. I think a couple bowls hit the floor and crank, cranked. Um, broke but yeah so we lost a couple bowls so there was like two bowls to this set um, we had three plates from it and just from being like a little bit OCD I wasn't interested in that so I was like well we should get a new plate set for the bus and something smart would be getting something that might be like wood or bamboo or something that's not going to be like rattling around while we're driving um, and then I found that Eco Soul Life that I was talking about before. They have these little family sets. You can get like a bigger set, but I just didn't like all the cups and stuff that went with those. So each family member has like a cup. Again, all of this stuff is biodegradable, which is awesome. So you can dig a little hole and bury, bury it when you're done with it, if you, if you ever are. And yeah. Um, you don't have to worry about landfill and all that stuff, so that's good. But yeah, it comes with a mug, a bowl, a pretty decent sized bowl, like there's the depth. I've had soup, salad, all kinds of good stuff out of there. We're using these ones now, these are current. Um, it comes with a fork, knife and a spoon, and then a little clip to clip it all together. And a plate a good size plate. So it doesn't come with like a little dish plate, um, like a dessert plate or whatever, but that's fine. And then it has a little mesh bag as well. So everybody can keep their, theirs in their own bags. Like we're not going to do that. We're probably just going to have everything like amalgamated in one, one drawer together, but we can put them together in their own little mesh bag if we want to. And the only thing that I'll say about this one is one, I've never used the knife. Um, I don't feel super confident in this butter knife, but I'm sure it would butter a bun just fine. But would it cut what a usual butter knife would? I don't think so. Same with the fork. Um, they're super thick, so you can't really get at things super well. So we were just using our usual metal cutlery as far as that goes. But the spoon's awesome. So there's that. But we are more interested in the plates and dishes anyway and I think most local health food places are carrying this brand too so um, if you don't want to wait and order online from the link below you can always probably go I've seen Choices carries them and a couple other places I think like Nature's Fair I don't know what you have local to you that's just right here in the Okanagan but yeah there's those guys super awesome all biodegradable um glass glass dishes I know I was saying about the plates just a second ago that we should be mindful because of like moving all around but for some reason um, we've just found that when leftovers are in glass dishes they just seem more desirable than plastic I don't know what it is about that but we've always sort of eaten anything that's in the glass and kind of avoided what's in the plastic I don't know what that's about but yeah having a few of these on the bus is always awesome um, and keeping one in the car is good too if you go anywhere so you don't have to take the plastic if you don't want to 
so that's good. Um, we're pretty much transferring everything that we have over to this system as far as like pantry and baking goes. So this is just like a large, I want to say a quart, but I'm not, you know, an expert on that. But yeah, these are so good because you can take them to Bulk Barn. Um, they write the tear on the top. They give you an option for a sticker or just writing right on the lid. You guys are probably already doing this. If you're not, you should be. Um, it saves on freight. It saves you um, overfilling and having like little bags of things if you're shopping at different places or whatever. You can just bring this right in, fill it to the top or however much you want to get. and. They store really nicely. It's nice to have them all uniform. And then I just got little labels for everything. This is our Basmati rice. But yeah, basically we've transferred everything over that we have from our pantry into this style. And I really like that. And I think this is a great tip. And I think that avoiding those little plastic bags is awesome if you can, or any of that extra shipping and stuff. When it comes in this abundance, then you're, you're helping save. So that's a good one. Um, in the same note, when I was talking about the plastic bags, you could always get something like this. So this is like a produce bag or just a little market bag, whatever you want to call it. Um, this brand is Simply Ecology. But yeah, um, I love these ones. I can use them for straining uh, almond milk, which I do have designated ones for that and designated for produce or bulk. Um, depending on what I'm getting. Sometimes things are getting low but they're not empty and I need to top it up and I can just kind of guesstimate and then just fill it to the fill, the, fill the jars back up. But these are great so I have like these organic cotton style which I, I love. I also got these, they're sort of like a meshy fabric. They do the job, like they're not my fave but they're just as good and I think they're a little bit cheaper. I think that's why I got them. But yeah, I love it. Um, especially for picking up my produce. I have a few of those apparently. I was super jazzed. I really wanted to show you guys at that moment. Um, another thing is these compostable bin liners. I think that is awesome in itself um, because there's enough plastic out there. Cutting that stuff out is great. And you, I'll just show you these. You can line anything with this, at least knowing that the bag itself will be um, breaking down is a good feeling. But yeah, so I have these guys. I just got them at Walmart, but I've seen many different others. Again, I'll link similar below, if not the exact same. These ones I just got at Walmart. But I've been using them in this special, which is just, um, I, use, I upcycled a container that I got from Costco and I've just been lining with the compostable bags and then putting food scraps in there and then that is all completely compostable so it can go straight into the compost or however you want to work it but this is an awesome thing to do anyway because I'm sure lots of your guys' stuff is from food prep anyway unless you're always driving through and I'm not here to judge ya. Um, another thing is all of our cups and glasses same thing like Parts of the downsizing we're going through, like our our glasses, like lots of them are just little random ones after we bought new stuff. They broke in, so we have like three from one set, two from another. It was like all mismatched. I just donated all of those, got a case of these awesome size mason jars. Um, so these are great for obviously drinking. Um, you can put food in them, you could do like those little sh shaker salads or shaker lunches, so it's good for that. Lots of sauces, it's so good for so many things, like there's so many purposes for this, and it's one item. So anything that you can do like that I think is awesome, I would say this. And I got these handy little guys, so this has a little flip lid, so if you're on the go, you want a smoothie to take with you, or maybe your coffee, whatever you want to do. Like, those are awesome. And again, you just use the same silver screw, screw on lid, and that's all good to go for you. So those are like multi, multi, multi-purpose. I recommend. And the last thing, beeswax wrapper. 
Oh my goodness, you guys. Um, I can't even begin to express how awesome these are. They're so good in lieu of using like saran wrap or Ziploc bags or whatever. I have used them like a Ziploc bag. I just seal up the sides and flip the top over and then it's like zipped in like a little Ziploc if you want to do that. Um, they also keep things for a little bit longer than other things because um, these like beeswax for some reason is preserving. They use the wax to keep the honey and preserve the honey. So these, these are just amazing. And I have three and that does the job for our family. I mean, I'd probably get three more if we're going on the road. Um, if we're to be super busy or something, I think these are good. Or if you lose a container lid, they always come in handy, if you know what I'm saying. But yeah, this is another really good one. And those, it's not a lot, like it's a small amount. Um, but I would definitely recommend all of those things to you if you're using most or all of them. Like, good for you, I'm stoked for you. If there's more you can think of, I'd love to hear about it. As long as it doesn't take up too much space because we're downsizing like crazy still and we don't have a ton of space on the bus, but I'm always open to things like that. So. Um, thanks for coming back guys. I'm so excited Ren didn't wake up and yeah, we got to film this video and we'll see you on the bus in two weeks But I'm hoping to get one more video out to you guys before that if I can But Yeah um, Thanks for coming along again. It means so so much to me you guys So like subscribe share with your friends share with your roommate share with your co-workers come back and watch it again any of it is support to me. Even if you're just here to laugh, you're still watching, right? Love it. Okay, see you guys next time.